this is Elle here to do your June 2019 general reading. It's a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Aries. If it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Thank you to those who already do so. It's much appreciated. Uh, be sure to comment a yes or no question below. It could be selected for the live read tomorrow where um, I'll answer questions for free if your question is selected. Okay, um, also go over to the website, book your uh, three card uh, spread. Uh, it comes to you in email format. Uh, I'll pull three cards for you in concern of one question or one concern, not several. Okay, all right, so if all the links are below, so take advantage of that. All right, so let's get into it. So Aries, it looks like it's just a month of lots of changes and and, and uh, a month of you just resting in that change uh there's an ending and then there's there a new beginning there's an end to an era in, in your life and then there is a, a new start i think the areas is get into a place of knowing themselves firstly what it is they want to embark on creative creative creatively and uh, emotionally Aries is filled with spirit and emotional um, and filled with um, you know emotionally stable so that in their decisions in regards to love job home all of those things they they uh they know intuitively that they're making the right decision okay uh though there might be some areas who's hesitating before making a decision there is a decision being made uh the situation is that there may be an aries who is um okay so for some of you it's going to be career and then it's and for some of you, it's going to be love and relationships. And then for some of you, it'll be both. So the Aries is in a in a love relationship, maybe. Um, they've been in and off with a particular person. This particular person has a family or a family dynamic, family unit. Uh, they they have established themselves uh, within within a, a structured, organized family dynamic. This person could be married or in a long-standing relationship. The Aries has been in an affair with them. Has been building to this affair for a very long time. You've been dealing with this for a very long time to where it's the three of pentacles. It's no longer the two of pentacles, the love affair where, you know, this person goes back and forth between the person that they have obligation with and then you. It's been pretty consistent in regards to um, you, this person is still married or still partnered or whatever. But at the same time, um, you guys have established a real solid relationship too. It's just that you don't have this person's undivided love and attention. It looks like the Aries chooses finally to swiftly make a move, a passionate move, an energetic motivational move in regards to choosing themselves, uh, choosing to put themselves first in regards to this long-standing um, third-party situation. The Aries says, okay, I get it. And the only way that I'm going to get what I want out of this situation is removing myself. Or at least putting myself first. Um, snidely doing that. You know, it's kind of it's um it's almost like an ultimatum but not really 
it's more so much needed positive energy going towards the Aries them choosing themselves making the choice to uh, self promote uh, self esteem promote yourself from within um, also you may be dealing with someone who or Aries you may be in and out of a particular relationship or you're dealing with someone who's in and out and um, they may want attention from you or they may say that they're choosing you Aries because we have the six of wands here the choice um, the choice in, in where or who to build with and sometimes that's choosing yourself The advice of the cards is to not settle for less and not take any offer that is not going to lead to um, a stable environment that, that you see for yourself. Whatever you have laid out for yourself. Um, don't be conflicted or don't allow yourself to be distracted by offers. Maybe from a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I don't know that is not going to yield you the outcome you're looking for. Uh, ward off the pettiness. And the distractions. To say that you want to... The advice here is, is when you turn down an offer that is not good enough that you are discontent with um, you may get what you want it leaves a particular person scrambling to for you guys to come together for you guys to see eye to eye there may be a new start in love and, and what fulfills you on an emotional level it looks like it says Aries make a wish it could very well come true you're wishing for something that you are without that is um in reach uh but not in your in your grips not you don't have grasp on it but it's in reach There is love between someone that you may bicker and argue with or that there has been speculation and rumor around or or that some or that there's still love with someone who is either committed in a marriage or someone who is um conflicted about what to give the Aries what to offer the Aries but the the advice here is to not take to any offer that is not exactly what you want uh, in doing so you you could possibly get what you want nine of, nine of hearts nine of cups the outcome if you stand true to the advice is the ten of wands the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Cups. It looks like an old era, an old way of, of being, of old way of doing something. Maybe carrying a burden, carrying the secret of a relationship, um, having to sneak around, having to conform to somebody else's um, expectations of the relationship having to fight for having to carry the weight of a relationship is cut out if you take the advice of the cards and not accept just what somebody's offering um, you possibly get an emotional um, offer 
and offer to invest emotionally in with you in a relationship with you or you know let's start over or you know you get that offer of let me be your boyfriend or girlfriend or let's let's um make this happen you get success in home and marriage you get for some of you it'll be new marriage or new love because you 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 were the change the fives are about change and the five governs um the house of affairs love affairs romance so this is about the aries getting getting what they want how you get what you want is standing firm and true to what it is you want if you don't do that you also have someone here, maybe a water sign, hesitating before making a decision. Grieving the situation before it's even done or over or before they even made a move. You know how that person, you know, that'll say, oh, I have to move out of this house. Right? And um, they haven't even moved. Uh, they don't plan on moving to maybe another five months and and they are just so torn up about it and they just whine about it they cry about it and it's like okay I just I want to be understanding but at the same time you've got five months until you move you haven't even moved you haven't even packed a box I, I need you to to um not hesitate before making this decision and stop grieving the process before you even done before you even done anything so you have somebody doing that they know that they have to make some big change in their long-standing commitment because the fives govern the hierophant too some traditional arrangement okay for those of you here about um career finance the Aries is completely uh, worried not even worried but more so concerned with uh, longevity and being on the right life path getting to a place of um, feeling like they're doing they're on the right path um, and feeling like they're working toward long term success health more so wealth now this is not when you speak of wealth and, and money it's not that all of us in our lifetime are going to be extremely rich granted some of us are already or some of us will be but not all of us so wealth is is not just the sum measure of you know the dollar signs or or the um the zeros you know in your bank account but more so um it's going to be relative to the person so everybody's idea of wealth is going to be different okay all right so the aries is concerned about the storehouse you know do i have anything stored that's more so well you know when you know that you know that you're good you know if anything were to happen or if you want to do or if you want to go or if, you, if someone needs you're able um also talks about family and, and real estate and property for some of you this is um the divide especially in a divorce the divide of real estate and property uh, there might be legal problems or legal issues or somebody's examining the work that they do or they're getting some really good ac you know accolades and and um, in their work you may work in a family dynamic a family business a family unit something like that but you're getting really good um, feedback here uh, 
it, it is completely motivating you. Not only motivating you, but sometimes you you think about maybe even going into business for yourself. Some of you have your own business and you're getting help in your business. There will be success here in your business. Uh, it, you're getting more business. You're getting more contracts or more more uh, work. Um, you're busy, busy, busy here. Okay? Uh, the advice here is that you might have to turn down some things. There might be some offers that come your way that you may have to see. This is distraction. Four of Cups and the Five of Wands. It may distract you, or you may get you may get physically, not physically, but mentally, energetically distracted in regards to the work that you do. Because it looks like some of you are in a service type industry or you, you work closely with something to do with customer service um, know that the, the, the person you help or the persons you help is more important than the, the helping so it's more important than the act of helping but the person or the, 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 the entity, the person on the, the receiving end is most important than the work that the Aries is doing. That's for some of you. Uh, for some of you, don't get distracted by offers that, once again, are not going to yield you. Ace of Cups, complete emotional fulfillment, uh, spiritual fulfillment, uh, that new fulfillment. Some of you... You might be closing on houses. This is a home move. Victorious here. Uh, turn down any offer in regards to uh, about this house or this home move that is not, um, once again, getting you what you want. Nine of hearts, making that wish or wish fulfillment. If it's not that, turn it down. In career, finance, you know, in business relationships. Okay, so it says if you do take to this uh, advice here about not being distracted by other offers, or uh, yeah, then you can um, you'll be able to move. Some of you, that's a physical move, or some of you, you'll be able to to rest easy, knowing that a, a trying and taxing, burdensome time is over. That is over. Um, there might be good advice or you give good advice there will be some spiritual clarity that comes in for you in regards to um, new starts in either business home something traditional some of you work from home Overall, there'll be interference. Five of Swords here. There has been interference in love and in career. There's heavy change here for the Aries in the month of June in regards to what they have been doing for an era for a long time. Uh, traditionally, traditional values or, or, or something of that nature. Um... The Aries is looking at morals and values. What is valuable? What is what is tradition? What do I want? We're going to go over to the website and clarify this because for some of you it's um it's the cutting away of some of you definitely dealing with somebody who is in a commitment or you're in a commitment you're trying to make changes there some of you um, you're gonna have to do battle for what is what you feel is due to you in regards to legal battles
child support or something of that nature. All right, so let's go over to the website and see what this is about. We're going to drill down on this and see what um, the Aries, who or what they're cutting out. Uh, it looks like Aries is cutting out burden and releasing burden here. The burden of finding uh, or choosing and making necessary changes in long-standing commitments at home and at work. Okay? All right. So, Aries, thank you for tuning in. Um, meet me over on the other side. The link is below. Thank you. Take care. Stay in prayer. And remember to comment a yes or no question below.